The Air Crew Performance Team is a team of 19 subject matter experts. It's really nice to have all these resources available to us. By having them embedded in the basic courses, they give us the tools to help us improve throughout our careers. I'm an F-35 pilot. I'm currently a student in the B course. I'm the program director of the Air Crew Performance Team. The F-35B course is a course that qualifies student pilots who previously flew generally basic airframes, so the T-6 and the T-38, and it qualifies them to be wingmen in the F-35. Initially, you start out in basic sims and academics to prepare you to fly the jet for the first time. Uh, then you go through a transition phase that qualifies you to fly the jet. You move on from there into the air-to-air -air phase, so some basic fire maneuvering and air-to-air -air operation then air to surface, and finally your missionized phase where you put it all together. We're very lucky in the F-35, we have very realistic simulators. However, you don't get the same kick in the pants when you push the power up that you get in the real jet. You don't feel the G's, obviously. So that sort of seat of the pants feeling of flying the jet, some of the sights and smells you don't get. Uh, however, a lot of the stick and throttle movements are very similar in the jet uh, to the simulator. Well, just visually speaking, if you've seen the F-35, it's a bit of a thicker jet than the T-38, a lot more thrust uh, and a lot more modern. So we've got more digital features in the F-35 that gives us a lot more situational awareness, but it's also a lot more to manage in the beginning as you're just figuring out how to work the system and what you need to be focusing on at different points in flight. The Air Crew Performance Team is a team of 19 subject matter experts that are here to meet the needs of AETC, AFMC, and ACC uh, fighter pilots on Eglin Air Force Base. We predominantly operate out of the Air Crew Performance Center, where we perform all of our testing, training, and treatment of our fighter pilots. What we're trying to do is we're trying to treat our fighter pilots like pilot athletes, right? Um, and so in order to do that, uh, we have to have a full team with different subject matter expertise coming together in an interdisciplinary fashion um, to really meet their needs. What we are asking of our fighter pilots right now to prepare for a great power competition is more than we've ever asked before. When those tools are on the table to compete among nations, that if a nation decides that they want to use force as their tool, they look at the United States and say, mm, maybe not so much. And if they make that bad decision that they are going to use force to advance their policies, they understand some mistake because we will defeat them. Uh, and so in order to best prepare them for that, we need folks in physical and cognitive domains to come together to really uh, help them to peak perform. The APC is awesome. There's a bunch of different components that they have. Uh, both physical and cognitive training that they offer. So physically, there are a couple of trainers. Um, they have awesome equipment that we're free to go and use whenever we want. Uh, they also have embedded physical therapists and soft tissue specialists to help with injury prevention and rehabilitation. And they also have a couple of cognitive performance specialists that help you to perform better in the jet by teaching you how to more effectively work through problems. I'll be honest with you, I feel a little bit spoiled in this program. We have so many people whose job it is to just help us be better. Things like having strength coaches uh, to target our work at areas that have historically um, resulted in injuries long-term to pilots. It's, it's really nice this early in our careers to be able to uh, not play catch up on those things, but really get ahead of them and make sure that we're going into the fight with an optimized body uh, to pull G's and those sort of things. If we don't have these assets and these facilities put into place, there is serious talent that we could be losing out on that we may have already invested very, very heavily in. Um, so I, I'm just really proud of the team uh, for really coming together, rallying around. Um, you know, the air crew that we have, that's one example of the impact that we've had on, you know, pilot production. Um, but there's so many more on the pilot retention side as well. If you even capture one saved aviator, um, particularly too when it's a weapons school graduate, you've already paid for these programs and then some, right? So that's crazy in itself to think about.